try to show it to you, if you can see it. So, this is a plasma, you see, it's a ball, it's bouncing. So, this is what the plasma is. The plasma is loads of magnetic fields, which go round and round, make what we call a plasma, and then, plasma has to come out, they cannot stay. So, when they come out, they have to join the others. It's just like when you go out of the house, you go and play with your friends, then it's two friends and more. But, to make a little nail or little toy, even to make this little magnet, needs millions and millions of these little balls joining together. So, now, in one step, you have seen how the whole universe works. If it's a small plasma, we call it one atom, or one proton. But, when it becomes a bigger plasma, we call it like Earth. And if it becomes a bigger plasma, it becomes a solar system. And it becomes a bigger, bigger plasma, we call it the universe. So, in a very simple way, if we can use this plasma, understand how it goes through these lines from one to another, and we can collect the motion of these, it's just like hundreds of you running down the road, then you can produce what is your dream, or whatever you like to be. Here, we start showing the movement of the plasma. When we collect its energy, because it's running, it gets tired, we call it the light. You produce a torch. This torch, if you can see its light, is literally collection of hundreds and hundreds of these plasmas collected, and then it's charged in the battery. This is how we make physics fun. Physics is very simple. If you can understand it, the reality of it, I'm sure you'll find out that your teachers will learn from you. And then, the simpler ways, the plasmas have to and they always join each other. As I said, if you find a friend, you can join and play. If I show you these magnets, these are like the sphere, is, you will see the magnets chase each other. The, the I'm trying to find a camera that you can see. I can move, and that one moves, if you can see it. It moves, and it moves, and it moves. Because, whatever comes from one magnet, it has to go in the other one. So, what comes of this magnet here, it has to go back on the other side. You cannot put all the magnetic which is coming out, back into itself. So, it goes into another magnet, and that's what happens. That keeps the distance. If you see, they never come close to each other they have to keep their distance. And, this is the principle of creation. When plasmas in the universe cannot come and become sitting next to each other. So, they have a gap. And that gap allows them to move freely. And it's like you and your friends sit on the same desk in the school, in the classroom. But there is a little gap between you, that both we can wiggle and move out and move in. And that's how exactly the plasma is. So, you can start playing with games. You can join them, you can join a few, or you can join a number of them. And, at the same time, you can make them to do different things. If you bring more magnets and more magnets together, you can play different games. This is the magnets, in different shape and form. If you look at it, you can understand very easy, that, how magnets work. They don't need to be in touch with each other. Their fields reach each other. And this is what we call a plasma. You turn, the two of the same magnets, if you see, I put on the table. If you can see the other one. They rattle, because they can join, the fields join each other. But, magnets do not need, or plasmas do not need to be next to each other, to contact each other. So, if I turn this, that one turns. If I turn the other one, the other one turns. What happens? 
the field in this one has to go around to this plasma from here in. And the field from this, now if this one has to come and join this one. But, that's what exactly happens. You don't need connection. You see, from a distance, you play with the magnets. And this is very much what we call a plasma. It's not flat, it's a ball. And if you stretch this ball very much long, like this, this is what you call the light. The light you saw in the torch, the light which gives you a chance to see this magnet, is the same ball when it gets stretched. If you get a chewing gum in your mouth and chew it and make a ball out of it, and then take it out and stretch it as much as you can, when it's around in your mouth, is a ball, is a plasma. And when you stretch it, it's still the same thing, but very long, and that's what we call the light. And this is how everything in the universe is. You become a stretch, you become a light, you stay a spherical, you become a ball, a plasma. So, in a very simple way, to make a plasma, you need loads and loads of the fields to come together, and they spin and they spin and they spin, and they become a plasma. So, if you had a thought, I'm sure you have seen it in, the, in your time, in your classroom, or in your house, you usually play with the magnets like this. Very flat. Very, very, very flat. So, you see them, this is what magnet. But in the universe, we never see anything like this. And that's why we see everything in the universe like this. And we call it a plasma, because fields rotate, they chase each other. So, from now on, you'll understand that, if you've seen a rectangular star in your life, when you look into the sky, no. But you see all the stars are round, the shape of a plasma. Because even the Sun is a very, very big plasma. The reason we start these teachings, is to teach you from the beginning about the reality of how life is in the universe. It's not flat. Everything in the universe, even uh, the smallest atom in your nail is a spherical shape. The blood you carry in your body is made of millions and billions of spherical shapes. And how they interact with each other, give you the color which you have. If you have a white shirt, the plasma in that shirt is what the other lights cannot be absorbed. If it's green, is some lights which cannot be absorbed, which the balance becomes green. But, the light is very simple. The light is made in a very, very simple way. If you rub the two balls, the plasmas together, the plasmas have the fields which are going out, and they have the fields which are going in. When you rub them together, when you them next to each other, the ones which are going in, crash with the ones which are coming out, the ones which are coming out, crash with the other one which is going in from the other one, and it's exactly as you do with your hand. If you rub your hand, you see heat, and it gets warm. But, you don't see, if you can make it very, very dark, you will see your hand will create light too. So, that's what happens in the universe. When the magnetic fields rub against each other, the ones which are going out of the plasma, and the ones which are going in the plasma from one and the other one, you get little, little plasmas coming out. It's like, bits of skin falls when you, you, you rub your skin, you scratch your skin. And those little lights, become elongated, and then become, what we saw as the light. So, we bring, this part, to an end. And then, next time we talk about more, beautiful things you can learn with the plasma. How you can use plasma, to light things up, and you tell us how you want us to go. Thank you very much.